my TED talk today will going to be about curiosity. And I'll talk about how curiosity, it's an inner value we have. And now I'm going to let you see a video. Papa, can you play outside? No. Why? Because it's five o'clock in the morning. It's too early. Why? The sun hasn't come up yet. <laughs> Why? Because the sun comes up later. <laughs> Why? Well, the earth goes around, and when it turns a certain amount, the sun shows on the horizon. Why? <laughs> Why? This is a question we should always ask ourselves. Why? Because as I was saying before, this TED talk, it's about curiosity. Why again? Because curiosity, it's something we have inside ourselves. It's an inner value we have inside ourselves since we were children. And just as the little kid we saw before, she was always asking why to her father, because she was so curious about the sun, about sh why they couldn't go outside. So I bet that all of you, when you, we were children, um, used to ask why to parents, to relatives, to your brothers, to your sisters, and you were so curious about your passions, you were fascinated by the world, by nature, and by everything that surrounded you. So, for example, when your mom used to uh, cook a cake, you were there asking, why are you doing that, um, the cake in that way? Or you used to ask your father why he chose a particular car. Or you, you used to ask your brother how to play the piano, how to draw a dinosaur, for example. So when we're children, we have so many questions. But then what happens? It happens that we grow up, we become adults, and we have a work, you have children, I don't so. Uh, then you have bills to pay, you have kids to take from school, you have so many things to do that you forget to ask this incredible um, question. That's why. And it's so easy to ask why, because it's something natural that it's inside ourselves. And it's incredible that we have this um, inner quality. We all are talented because we're all curious. So now I'm going to ask you a question. And this question is, why is hippopotamus milk pink and not white? This question may seem easy, may seem stupid, but it's a question, it's a curiosity. And I don't know how many of you know the answer. I'll tell it later. But now, I'm going to tell you a story, and this story will help us do a journey that will bring us to get back this curiosity that some of us have lost because we have so many things to do that we forget to ask this question. So, when I was a little kid, I used to lose so many things at elementary school. For example, hats, sweaters, socks. So um, I used to go to, to the, this box called Lost and Found, and I knew that everything was right there inside. And, I, and things I thought I lost were all there, inside there. So today, I'm going to tell you this. I told you this story because I'm going to tell you this incredible thing. We all have inside ourselves this box called Lost and Found. And inside our box, that box, there is curiosity. And if some of us have lost this curiosity, now imagine you have kids in your, keys in your hands and you have to unlock that Lost and Found. In that way, curiosity, that curiosity, that is inside there, will spread across your body, across your soul, across your mind, and you'll get back all those questions you have since we were children. And so you'll be like this boy, curious, and um, curious about everything. 
And just as this little boy, there are so many stories of people who lived their life because, uh, moved by curiosity. And today, I'm going to tell you these three different stories. They are apparently different because they're all connected by curiosity. The first story I'm going to tell you, it's about a boy. This boy, um, when he was five years old, was at home and saw on a shelf some CDs. And they were classical music CDs. And nobody ever told him to listen to those CDs because um, his parents weren't passionate about music. He listened to the CDs and he got so amazed by classical music that after some months, he asked his parents that he wanted to, have, uh, to take um, singing lessons because he wanted to become a tenor. And nowadays, he's one of the most important tenors worldwide. And think about if this boy, instead of listening to those CDs, would have just stayed on the couch watching television without asking himself why. And I was listening to the interview where he uh, said this story, and it was so amazing that a man is, does a work because moved by curiosity. I find it so fascinated. As I find fascinated, the second story I'm going to tell you. The second story I'm going to tell you, it's about the genius. And when I say the genius, I talk about Leonardo da Vinci. He was a mathematician, an architect, a sculptor, a Kurtzman. He was practically everything. And in his writings, he wrote that he was moved by curiosity because he loved nature, he loved what, what surrounded him. And I bet he's the only one in the world ever that never locked that lost and found we have in our body. And, uh, for example, he did so many uh, inventions that when I went to the, this um, museum called Leonardo III in Milan, um, there are all his inventions exposed. And, for example, I had the opportunity uh, in the workshop to do the, um, the bridge. And it was amazing to do something that he projected as it is amazing that nowadays we take planes every day we go to the Japan, to Canada, we go everywhere because he uh, was the first one that interested in birds in flight, in um, how flight uh, goes, because he was interested in this. He was moved by curiosity, he asked why, he wanted to find a solution to everything that he loved. And this thing, it's so amazing if you think about it. All his life was moved by curiosity, by the will to be fascinated by nature and by what surrounded him. The third story I'm going to tell you, it's about a person, a very important person. And this person I'm going to tell you about the story, it's me. Um, so today, I'm here talking to you about curiosity because I believe that what moves me every day, it's this value. If, I, um, if when I do things, when I study, when I watch uh, movies, when I read, I do it because I like it. I do it because I want to deepen that knowledge I have. And just as this quote of um, Albert Einstein says, I'm neither clever, not especially gifted. I'm only very, very curious. This means that we are all talented, and one of one, each one of us have a talent. And this talent is being curious. We all here have asked why once, once and we're curious. We, uh, we have this thing inside our eyes. We want to know more. We're all here today because you're here to listen to my idea, to the other ideas, because you, are curious to know about us, and this is incredible. It means you're led by your passions. And uh, what I like our world to be, it's a world where 
our horizon, it's curiosity. It's a world where all human beings when do when they work, when they study, when, when they do everything. They do it because they like it. They do it because they're passionate about it, because they love what they do. And this research of happiness, this research of um, curiosity, of uh, happiness, it's what I think today uh, should move us. And from this day on, if all of us here today will be moved by curiosity, our world will be certainly more uh, curious, more uh, developed, more happy. So keep asking yourself why, keep asking others why, have questions, ask, don't worry about it. Be uh, always active and let curiosity spread across the world by asking why. In conclusion, what I want to say is this. Um, do you remember the question I said I asked before? Uh, this one, why is hippopotamus milk pink and not white? If you remember it, I, wanted to, I want to tell you the, um, the answer. The answer is that in the hippopotamus milk, there is a little blood, there is blood. So instead of pink, instead of white, sorry, it's pink. And now you have, you know something more and you how you, you, you were curious about my answer. And so this TED talk worked and you'll keep asking yourself why for everything that surrounds you. And this will help the world to have this new horizon. And this new horizon should be curiosity. Thank you.